Sup y'all, welcome back to another video by me, Dina. OG K-pop stand since 1998. I want to thank y'all armies for being patient with me to getting to Jin's the astronaut. So, um, it's like, I don't know if it's just me or if y'all armies feel me, but I almost wanted to wait as long as possible to hear this song. Just because of the fact that I know that the song, from what I saw on Twitter and just news outlet in general, that the song is like a gift to the armies before Jin moves forward with his military service. And it's just, I think the fact that it's the time, you know, it makes me realize how long it's been since I've been with BTS. I've been with BTS, I discovered them with fire. And ever since then, I never looked back, hence an army. So, um, yeah, it's like now that one of the members is, you know, going onward with the military service, it's like, it makes me realize, it makes me remnant everything from the beginning till now. So it's like, it's like, am I prepared to hear this or not? I mean, of course, I know it's not going to be forever, but, you know, it's... We're going to miss him, but um, I'm already getting emotionally even talking about it, so... Oh, gosh, why am, I, why am I doing this? Um, but anyway, yeah, I just wanted to wait for a while to get to this, and I'm like, you know what, um, I, I can't wait forever. Especially the fact that this is co-written by him and Coldplay. I feel like it's going to be definitely very hitting in the feels, so... Um, Let's just go ahead and hit the feels. So let me just shut up and hit the play button for Jin's The Astronaut music video. Voice over Dini here for a quick pause before we get things started. I would like to say an extra thanks to my Captain Jack Sparrows over on my Patreon for the extra support. Y'all literally keep my boat, aka my life, stay afloat along with the rest of the crew. Y'all are the savviest. That's got to be the best part I've ever seen. Alright, let's get it. Sounds that this is already so cosmic. You and me, Ganaji and their history. On I Uchu, Gadwechu, Huri, Yagi, Mokchaoji of Shihula, Ganan, just so. Oh, my God, the way he's singing. Oh, the, the, that line. When I meet you, there is no one else. Oh. I can't have it to myself. When I meet you, there is no one else. I feel this way. Him giving the helmet, so he's like, I'll protect. The way Jin is singing here, though, y'all. All this metaphoric use of the lyrics. The way he does this high note here, it's so... This song is seriously so freaking lovely. Okay, let's go. 
Oh, that background's very like jean jacket ish from Nope. This video is so, it's so metaphorically beautiful. Family, hold on. Moon, astronaut, star, cozy, family, army. <laughs> The song is very beautifully, it's so cosmic. I keep saying the word cosmic, which is kind of funny because, you know, it's all about like metaphorically the astronaut, the space, asteroid, the Milky Way. I, I say cosmic because it makes me feel almost like out of this world. It just makes me feel like I'm drifting. It, there's something that's just very comforting about the song. And, um, oh gosh. The, the chorus whenever he does the high note part it, it really just hits apart my heart i'm just like damn this like song makes me feel like emotional at the scenes where where he gives the little girl the helmet like you know protecting and then we see the scenes later in the second verse or chorus where we see him helping steering the bike for her and we see like the two scenes where it's that and then you see him, you know, riding the bike alone on this long road. I feel like that could be symbolic for so many things. Like, I'm not Jin. I'm not close. I, I don't know Jin personally, unfortunately. But I'm pretty sure that he feels a certain, or I wouldn't doubt that he feels a certain type of sadness. Those two scenes kind of being very parallel together where he's helping you know the little girl with the steering and as she goes off and she can ride alone and he's like yeah you know I'm, I'm glad to see that she can hold her own so just seeing the parallelism of that scene and then him riding alone is kind of like that bike ride like metaphorically as a way for him to say like we're still connected like I may be uh, taking a break for a little bit you know because I'm doing my military service but we're still connected I'm still here for you I hope I'm still here to help you you know to guide you or give you the strength to move forward in your life or move onward in your life until I come back yeah so it could be seen from that perspective for Jin there's also the perspective that we can take it for what it is where sometimes we will feel I no, actually I'm gonna say I because I can't speak for you but there are many times in my past recent past really where I would hit a really dark downward spiral luckily now I'm in a much more content clearer headspace because of therapy lots of therapy lots of meditation but there were times where I just felt like I was in such like the bottom of the pit just such in the dark but the only thing that kept me moving forward were the little glimmers of light in my life that made me know that I had a rope to climb back up stairs to go back up so um the lyrics portray that perspective and somebody 
man okay now i'm i'm putting the title the astronaut in mind oh gosh i don't know if y'all have ever seen the movie passengers uh with chris pratt and jennifer lawrence um i hope this is not a spoiler um but there's a scene where chris pratt puts on the astronaut to you know the suit and then he drifts out into space he's tethered like there's a line that's holding him but he's able to drift out really far into space and then he sees everything and all of a sudden he starts crying because he's like he's never experienced such a loneliness you know so the fact that the lyrics speak from a, a perspective where you're in a dark place but yet you know that you have light around you even though you're so far out you're an astronaut it's seriously so symbolically beautiful it really does hit me in the feels i'm trying so hard not to cry so if y'all hear my voice kind of cracking a bit <sighs> my bad about that but seriously the song first of all it started off so slow and like beautiful and cosmic and then when it hit into like the part when the beat came in i was like first of all that's very coldplay ish and uh very just kind of 80s ish it just gave me like a very classic feel a very timeless feel definitely a very nice gift from Jin to us armies all right guys well thank you so much for checking out my reaction to Jin's the astronauts i hope you have a great day and until the next video coming up peace